Almost everyone has been in this position. You've committed yourself to eating healthier and exercising more. But somehow, despite your best efforts, you always find yourself falling back into your old habit. You keep trying to change because you know that it's important for your health, but you're often tempted by unhealthy foods and toxic behaviors. So, why is sticking to a healthy lifestyle so hard? Let's unravel exactly why you keep making unhealthy choices. The answer is not as complex as you may think. Actually, our brains are wired to trick us in several ways. First up, our instant gratification trap. Instant gratification makes us think that immediate rewards are more valuable than delayed ones. In fact, it's easier than ever to get what we want right away. And this instant gratification can often be quite addictive. From ordering takeout with just a few clicks, to streaming our favorite movies at the press of a button, we're used to getting what we want when we want it. While there's nothing wrong with the occasional indulgence, instant gratification can become a problem when we start to expect it all the time. Have you ever gotten frustrated after you've gone to the gym for months but aren't losing the amount of weight you desire? You see, when we constantly seek immediate pleasure, we become impatient, anxious, and even sad when we don't get it. Plus, instant gratification can also lead to financial problems if you're constantly spending money on things you really do not need. So, next time you're tempted to seek instant gratification, take a step back and ask yourself if it's really worth it in the long run. Overcoming instant gratification traps may involve making a conscious effort to avoid distractions, removing temptations from your surroundings, and regularly setting goals that you can work towards over time. Additionally, building positive relationships with others through social activities like volunteering and group exercise classes can help us stay focused on the bigger picture and promote a sense of meaning and purpose. Secondly, approval traps will make it hard to stick to a healthy lifestyle. Approval traps occur when we become fixated on seeking approval from a particular group or individual. This can often lead to suboptimal decisions as this fixation on the approval of others will cause you to lose sight of your own objectives. These are situations where we find ourselves compromising our own values and standards in order to gain the approval of others. Approval traps generally arise when there is a high degree of uncertainty or risk involved in making a decision. In such situations, we tend to seek approval from those we perceive as being more knowledgeable or experienced. However, constantly seeking approval or acceptance from others will negatively affect your self-esteem and self-worth. Most of us have a desire to be liked and approved. Sometimes, this need is so strong that it can lead us to these approval traps which make sticking to a healthy lifestyle so hard. The first step to overcome approval traps is to become aware of them. Pay attention to the times when you find yourself bending your own rules in order to please someone else. When you catch yourself doing this, are you more concerned about being liked or with staying true to yourself. Once you've identified an approval trap, the next step is to establish some clear boundaries. Decide ahead of time what you are and are not willing to do. Thirdly, are decision traps, which are usually inclined by societal influence or our upbringing. They occur when we allow our judgments to be influenced by factors that are not relevant to the decision at hand. For example, the sunk cost fallacy is a common decision trap that leads us to continue investing in something, for example, a stock or even a relationship, even when it's no longer rational to do so. This is because we feel like we've already invested so much time that we cannot possibly walk away without seeing a return. However, this way of thinking ignores the opportunity cost of our decision, which is the potential benefit of making one choice over the other. And as rational decision makers, it is important to be aware of the various cognitive biases that can lead us astray. Otherwise, we find ourselves trapped in suboptimal decisions. To overcome these decision traps and maintain a healthy lifestyle, it is important to be mindful of our behaviors and thought patterns. Increased awareness will cause us to more easily recognize the factors that are influencing our decisions and take steps to avoid them. For instance, we often see commercials of perfect people eating junk food and this makes us crave it even more. Later on, when we finish eating that bag of chips, we make ourselves believe that what we ate wasn't enough to stop our cravings. However, when you constantly cave in to unhealthy desires, your brain will remember this and encourage you to eat more the next time around. Number 4. Triggers make it harder to stick to a healthy lifestyle. Triggers are psychological cues that stimulate certain feelings 
opinions or behaviors. Although triggers can vary from person to person, some common examples include negative emotions such as stress or anger, environmental cues like sights or sounds, and even events like loss or trauma. Triggers can influence both our physical and mental states, causing unpleasant sensations such as nausea or intense anxiety, as well as responses like behavioral avoidance or increased risk-taking. For example, stress may act as a trigger that causes you to turn to comfort food, and the odors from your favorite restaurant can create cravings. When you figure out what your triggers are, it's time to remove yourself from the situation. For instance, if you eat more junk food when stressed, work on managing your stress levels plus decreasing your access to junk. The key is to recognize and make deliberate attempts to change this behavior. Number five, lack of knowledge makes it harder to stick to a healthy lifestyle. Unhealthy lifestyle habits are often passed down from generation to generation and make sticking to a healthy lifestyle so hard. For instance, if you grew up in a family where processed foods were the norm, it can be hard to break out of that mindset and adopt healthier habits. The lack of knowledge about health and wellness is a common barrier for adopting a healthier lifestyle. In fact, you may simply not know how to make healthy choices and even more so, how to do so in a sustainable way. Additionally, you may not even be aware of the benefits of certain foods or the negative consequences of consuming too much of certain nutrients. For example, someone who is trying to stick to a healthier diet may not even know that certain fats are actually good for them or that processed sugar can lead to weight gain. They may be unaware of the dangers of unhealthy options that are even disguised as healthy alternatives. When armed with the right information, you're more likely to make healthier choices. Knowledge also empowers people to take control of their own health. For instance, someone who knows the signs of a heart attack is more likely to get prompt medical attention than someone who's unaware of the symptoms. A person who knows the link between obesity and heart disease is more likely to make changes to their diet and exercise habits than someone who is completely unaware of the risk. There are a number of ways that people can improve their health knowledge. One way is to read reliable sources of information such as medical journals or government health websites. You can also attend health education classes or events. Another way to improve health knowledge is to talk to your healthcare professional such as your doctor or Nurse. Healthcare professionals can provide accurate information and answer any questions that you may have. Number six, lack of motivation. It can be hard to find the motivation to make changes to your lifestyle, especially if you don't feel like you're at risk of developing any health problems. Lack of motivation is a common barrier to sticking to a healthy lifestyle. It can be hard to muster up the energy to cook a healthy meal or pack a nutritious lunch when you're not feeling motivated. Also, the lack of motivation can make it more tempting to reach for unhealthy, convenient options. That's why it's crucial to identify the root cause of your lack of motivation. For example, if you're not motivated because you're bored of your current food choices, consider mixing things up with new recipes or exploring different cuisines. If a lack of time is the issue, try batch cooking or looking for quick and easy healthy recipes. By taking action to address the source of your lack of motivation, you can make it easier to stick to a healthy lifestyle. Another great tip is to increase your motivation by making small achievable goals. This can help you feel a sense of progress and keep you inspired to continue working towards your goals. One of the most difficult things to do is to adhere to a healthy lifestyle. In fact, the temptation of unhealthy foods or lackadaisical exercise habits seems insurmountable at times. What's your main challenge when it comes to sticking to a healthy lifestyle? Is it your need for instant gratification, approval traps, decision traps, not being able to identify or address your triggers, a lack of knowledge, or a lack of motivation? Let me know in the comments below. Many of you may know what you should be doing, but it can feel hard and daunting when faced with the reality of making a change in your day-to-day -day life. That's exactly why you need to watch this video where I discuss the most essential self-care strategies that you need to prioritize right now. If you found this video informative, share it with someone you love. Thanks for supporting my channel by liking and subscribing. Together, we'll navigate our way to a healthier, more fulfilled life, one solution at a time.